is, today is video class th th Thursday and today's topic is super interesting especially for beginners. Today I'm going to talk about the top 4 systems used for decorating and creating nail extensions. Of the 4 I'm about to mention, the first two are for extensions and decorating and the other two are exclusively for decorating your nails. So, of the four options we have, the first one is for acrylic nails, the second one for gel nails, the third is for semi-permanent gel, and the fourth one for regular nail polish. Want to learn a little bit more? Let's get started! Okay, creators, so the acrylic technique on nails is pretty much the most common one since it's really, really easy to handle. To make acrylic nails, we are going to need two essential products. One of them is this powder, which is just crystal powder. I took the label off of all of my products so you guys can pick and choose from whichever brand you like or feel most comfortable with. Because sometimes the products people recommend are just not what you're comfortable with, not what you're looking for, so I'll just leave that choice to you. Okay, here I've got this powder that's called polymer or acrylic in this liquid. Here it is. Mm. This liquid is called monomer or liquid acrylic. When we combine the powder and the liquid acrylic, we'll get sort of a paste that's really, really moldable. And it takes more or less around two to three minutes for it to harden. And that's just enough time for you to shape the nail. So you'll be handling this paste with a brush like this one. And now I'm going to show you how it's done. So I poured a little bit of monomer in a small glass container and now, check it out, we are going to dip our brush in the liquid and right away we dip it in the powder and we'll get that paste I was mentioning before. I'm going to place it on this piece of paper so you can see it. And as you can tell, we have a small bead. It, it kind of looks shiny because it's still quite wet, but once it starts to look a bit opaque and slowly starts to lose its shine, it means it's drying up. The time it takes to harden or dry up depends on the brand that you use and obviously the weather. The colder your environment is, the longer it will take for it to dry. And I also have to let you know that in order for the acrylic to fully dry, we'll have to wait 24 hours, meaning that in 24 hours, the acrylic will get to its hardest point yet. Career artists, we have two options when it comes to working with acrylic nails. The first one is to cover the entirety of the natural nail to protect it, respecting the shape and size of the person's fingernail. The second option is to use extensions. This means that the fingernail isn't going to be as short as the natural nail of the person and can be long. And for this, there are two techniques. One is using tips, which are these. These nails are made of plastic, see? And they're really long and thin and they come in different colors, like this one this white one called the French tip, this sort of beige one called the natural tip, and this last clear one that's called the crystal tip. And so we are going to glue these tips to the edge of the natural nail, like this, right here, and once they're glued on, we cut them to the length your client decides. The other technique for making acrylic extensions is this one, the sculpted nail technique. And you will need these paper forms, they're kind of like stickers and you'll find them in many different shapes depending on the brand that you're using. The one that you decide to use is entirely up to you as long as you find the one that works best for your needs. So what I'm doing here is applying a small portion of acrylic to make a very very short extension. So once the acrylic is dry, I'm going to remove my nail form and... And so this is another way of getting a very natural looking nail extension. So here's the extension with a nail tip, and here's the extension using the sculpted technique. Which one do you like best? So Creatis, this technique of acrylic nails is ideal for people who look for a very resistant option for the nails. You know, for the ones that may do a little bit of rough work with their hands, or for the people who want very elaborate decoration on their nails with a lot of texture and colors, or maybe longer nails. This is the perfect option for these people. With the acrylic technique, we can do very simple things such as a small extension as well as extremely elaborate over-the-top nails, so to speak. <laughs> One of the advantages of the acrylic technique is that the application takes very little time. And yes, I know that at first it's a little bit difficult to understand and work with, but it takes you maybe from, I don't know, a week to a month to get used to this technique and actually master it. It all depends on each person's ability, of course. But I mean, once you really master it, the application takes very, very little time. You don't need, uh, uh, you won't be needing a UV lamp. You can actually make your acrylic nails without having to use one. And, well, some of the disadvantages that I found when using the acrylic technique, Creatist, are number one. 
The monomer is always going to have a very unique and peculiar smell, which is actually very strong and well. There might be some people out there that won't be able to stand it as much. So that's why I advise you to work in a well-ventilated room, if possible with an extractor nearby and well. So this is the acrylic nail option. The second option I have for you is of the nails made with gel. This is a very gooey material and you, well we're going to use a brush, but this time we're going to use a smaller one. Okay, so I want you to check out the consistency. It's viscous and its consistency is very thick which is going to allow us to shape the nail extension perfectly. And with this technique, just like we did with the acrylic extensions, we can also create gel extensions with nail tips as well as with nail forms. So you have these two options as well. The only thing that changes is obviously the material which they're made of. The difference between these two techniques is that the gel is less hard and you'll actually need a UV lamp like this one I'm going to show you right now. A lamp like this one where the lights, well actually the one I have is UV LED so the LEDs are these tiny lights right here but you can also use just a regular UV lamp. The time that the hand needs to be inside the lamp to cure the gel or for the gel to harden depends on the power of each lamp, okay? So, the application of gel nails starts by covering the natural nail to protect it up until we shape the nail extension. And this technique is ideal for people who want a much more natural appearance and a very simple decoration due to the fact that these nails are slightly thinner. But even so, they're super resistant. Now, how do we remove the gel nails, you ask? Well, this is slightly different from acrylic nails. What we're gonna do right here is file, 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 and file until we get to the natural nail. So we already went over the two options to create nail extensions with acrylics and gel. And now we are going to go over these next two options for nail decoration. The third option is a semi-permanent gel. It's also known as gelish since that was the first brand that came up with the system. So the people got used to calling it like that, but it's really just called semi-permanent gel. So check this consistency out. It's kind of like a regular nail polish. In fact, even the bottle looks like regular nail polish. It's what I have on actually. <laughs> it really does look like nail polish, but no, it's gel that lasts for quite a while. So you'll find all sorts of colors and there's an infinity of brands that make these just like with the acrylics. Tons of textures, for example, this one that's nice and glittery, you'll find solid colors. There's also translucent and chrome colors. Anyway. For the application of this method of semi-permanent gel, what you do is, you apply it to a nail just like you would with nail polish, but the difference is that it won't dry like regular nail polish would. Since it's gel, you are going to need your UV lamp. So this nail has one coat of semi-permanent gel, and I'm going to place it under the lamp for 30 seconds. It'll come out a little bit gooey, but that's okay and completely normal. This semi-permanent gel queer artist can be applied on a natural nail or on an extension just like I'm doing it. Right now, I'm applying a second coat so that the color looks nice and even. This system of semi-permanent gel lasts approximately 20 days and not because it peels off or anything but because after 20 days, you can really notice the growth of the natural nail. Therefore, it doesn't look as good as it did at first. So right here, after the two coats of color, I'm going to apply the top coat to seal the deal. And as you can see, it's super shiny, it looks just like nail polish, and it gets a very natural effect, and it's also very, very simple. The advantage that I see in this system is the fast training it gives to people. A person can actually learn to apply it in just one afternoon or one day and that's a major advantage that can make you fill your pockets quite quickly. The truth is that I don't see any disadvantages whatsoever when it comes to this system. So this is the option for semi-permanent varnish or semi-permanent gel. And to wrap this up, Queer Artist, the fourth option is a regular nail polish, the ones you've been buying since forever. They're very light, easy to find, and there's a ginormous variety of colors, textures, prices, brands, which comes down to trying all kinds of them to find the one, the, the, the one that you like best. So the cool thing about nail polish is that it's very easy to apply and you can remove it in almost a blink of an eye with nail polish remover, not pure acetone necessarily. And the super cool thing about nail polish is that you don't need any special equipment like a lamp or any special brush for its application. The brush it comes with is just about enough. What I really don't like about nail polish is that it takes too long to dry and another thing is that they get sticky after a while. In fact, it's highly recommended to have the nail polish bottle really close to you so that it's not open for too long and you avoid the, 
that you, you avoid that icky, sticky gooeyness. Anyway, the recommended thing to do here is to apply the base coat first, then two coats of color, and then the top coat. So like I said before, it's a very, very cool technique, very economic, very homemade if you will. You can apply it to um, natural nails or even on acrylic or gel extensions. But even though this nail polish technique is really easy and accessible, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for a professional application. Alright creators, so these are the four systems we use to work with nail extensions or to decorate natural nails. Please let me know in the comment section which technique you like best, which of all four was your favorite, which was your least favorite, and why. If you have any questions, make sure to write them down in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer right away. Love you queer artists, I'll see you next video class and if you're new to my channel or this is your first time watching a video of my channel Laura Tagle Nails in English, this is an invitation for you to subscribe and make sure to click on the little bell there so you get all the notifications. Here's a big welcome to the new ones and the ones who are always here. I love you to the moon and back. See you next week. Bye! Now, now, now.